Hey guys, it is Andrea and today I am planning from the 19th of June to the 25th of June and this is going to be the last week in this Erin Condren planner and then I'll be switching over to the new planner which I'm really really excited about. Well, kind of sad, kind of excited, mostly excited though but I'm in that like new planner, new me kind of feel, if you know what I mean. And this week I am using the kit Never Give Up. I was gonna wait to use this. I also have the glitter headers and the um, midi girl boxes. And I was gonna wait to use this, but I'm just like really into it right now. And I love the colors and I'm not like working out or anything, um, but you know, I just really like this, so. That's what's gonna happen. So I also brought out a couple other things. This week is like super boring, so I'm going to be using these work stickers to take up a little bit more space because I got nothing going on. So these are new to the shop in the summer multicolor. And other than that, I just pulled out these custom boxing cactus couple stickers because we're gonna do a date night this week. Again, it's boring. And then a past two dollar Tuesday of the glitter babies on clouds, the glitter nail polish, and then the glitter. Um, computers that I'm going to use for design days because I need to get some designing done this week. Uh, also at the end of the video I do have like two things and I was thinking about doing at the end of my plan with me's or maybe you guys want them at the end of rewinds because those are a little bit shorter. Let me know in the comments down below um, if I should do my like a weekly haul because I was doing them monthly but I felt like it wasn't like like by the time I put it up sometimes the items weren't available so it didn't really make a ton of sense so let me know. Also for this week's Chill Our Tuesday, I've been showing you guys these in the um, Plan With Me videos and these are the ones for this week which is Tuesday the 20th. So you have these really pretty like lilac um, glitter headers with a lot of like really cool color variants in there. Really love those. You have like little Instagram social buttons in glitter and then also in solid and then also these really cute kind of like martini glasses but they're in glitter and then also have the option for the solid version and then there's also like little gift boxes with either silver or gold bows so those are the options for two tuesday which i have been showing you guys and yeah i have some cool stuff coming within the next like month or so that i'm really really excited about and that is in the works and i'm so pumped i got an email about it today two emails actually from two different people like different things that are happening and i'm super pumped so let's go ahead and get started again this is a really boring week the last week was like pretty like crazy even though Nick wasn't here. I was like on a roll. I had stuff to do every day because I was keeping myself busy because I was going to be super bored without Nick here. So I do have questions. I should probably do the date bar thingy first. Okay. Also the date dots are no longer in there. So I'm going to pull out this date sheet which is going to last me 10 years and two days or a month. Um, and those are in the shop and they are in black. So... The first question is from the not last plan with me, but the one before that. I'm sorry last week's plan with me was total like, but I'm going to film a rewind spread after this and I'm going to go into like heavy details on like what I did this week just because I didn't do a plan ahead spread and most of it was um, like stuff that was pre-planned. Nothing like really changed because I had like completely booked my week full of stuff to do and then I'm filming this on Friday because Nick comes home after being gone for five days and I don't want to like have to film videos. I want to like work the next two days and then just spend time with him and the pups. So back to the question. So the question was from Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Um, if you weren't running SPC, what other career do you think you'd have or what would you want to do career-wise? I'm not sure what exactly I would be doing. I did answer this question in my like... Um, I've answered this question before, but I did answer it in my, oh, is this last week I'm going to use the little flags, in my spread for last week, but I did, like, nix that spread because it was just really bad, and I put it up, like, with the music. Um, but I have answered this question before, not in a while, though, so. Um, let me get my scissors out. I love these scissors so much, I'm so happy I have new ones. Um. But I'd probably be doing something like, like whatever. Like I'm honestly, when it comes to work, like I don't, I don't complain. I'll do anything. I've done like pretty much everything. I haven't worked retail though, but I've worked in like food, like hostessing and waitressing. So I feel like you kind of get some kind of feel for that. But I did, I mean, I did kind of work retail whenever I worked at the salon because I had to know like all the retail products 
and like sell them so i mean that's kind of close but i haven't worked like clothing retail but i really am not like super picky i just like working a lot um i like being busy and i don't like when i don't get to work and i think that that's why this works for me so well is because i would say like 60 or 70 probably 70 percent of my work i do at home so I can always be doing work no matter where I am or if I'm on vacation. I can do something because I get very bored easily and it gives me something to do like at any time. So that's why I like what I do. Well, it's not why I like, but that's one of the reasons why I like what I do currently. But if I could pick anything and I mean something that's still like not like I'm going to be princess of blah, blah, but I would probably want to be like a wedding planner or something in my my other life or my next life or my life after stickers. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. I feel like I'm very organized and I really like weddings and the whole like planning aspect. I feel like I've been a part of many wedding planning journeys and I really like party planning. Um, so that would be like what I would want to do. I do know that like for Nick, he's going back to school, which I'm really excited about him going back to school because he really enjoyed school i personally didn't like school i don't think that college is for everyone i did go to a state school and then i did try community college as well and i don't think um for me it was really like for me but i think that school is for certain people and i think that it really works for him because he's more social than i am and he definitely benefits from being in a like school environment so i'm really excited he's gonna take he has two more classes till his associates and then he's gonna transfer probably to ut but he's just finishing his um associates at acc and he only has two classes but he can't take them at both at once because one's a prereq for another so he's gonna take those two and then he'll have his associates degree and then he's gonna go to ut probably for his bachelor's degree in some kind of computer engineering kind of thing i don't really know he kind of goes back and forth but he needs to figure that out within the next year so he's got time but nick's very very smart i feel like he's he well i feel like we both are like smart in different ways but he's really smart in like book smart kind of ways where i'm not very book smart at all well, let's be real some of you guys probably knew that um so that kind of answers question number one trying to think of like what kind of like bizarre job that i'd like to have like something that i couldn't do but like i'd like to do but i can't really think of anything like some kind of like funny like off the wall thing like i don't know because really anything is possible so nothing's really that off the wall um so and then in my rewind spread where i fast forward it which again i apologize it was really bad like i really i feel like I felt like super hyper and I don't know why because I don't know I don't drink caffeine anymore and I'm not like doing much with like a lot of sugar normally like the most sugar I have is like from fruits and vegetables and not fruits and vegetables yeah vegetables but um fruits so I don't really know why I get hyper but I'm mean, I don't know but I just felt like I was kind of crazy and like talking a lot so I didn't want to come off as crazy so the second question, oh, this will be a long one. Uh, it's from Christina, and she asks a lot of the winning questions. And if you guys have any questions for next week's plan with me, let me know in the comments down below. I feel like, no, my nails don't match. I'm getting my nails done again, but um, this week. So she asks a lot of questions that always like get a lot of thumbs up. And what was I going to say? If you guys have a question for next week's plan with me, let me know in the comments down below. I can do the sidebar still. So in the comments down below and thumbs up your favorite questions so that I know you want to hear the answer to them and I will answer them in the next week's plan with me which is in the new planner which I'm so excited about um so this question is please do a, like a draw my life but just describe it instead of, oh I should have wrote like a I should have like outlined this describe your life where you grew up and how you got to where you are today oh dang this is so definitely one of the questions that I probably need to like outline because I get like really scatterbrained, which I think I get more scatterbrained now, like recently. Um, so my life. So I was born in Western Pennsylvania in 1992. I'm 25 years old. Um, my parents, uh, we lived in Western Pennsylvania, which if any of you guys live in Western Pennsylvania, there's not a lot going on over there. You guys know that. 
Um, but my mom still lives in Western Pennsylvania, and my dad does not. Uh, let me do my sidebar. So, um, what was I saying? So I lived there. My parents got divorced whenever I was five or six. I don't really remember, and I... My mom left and moved to Ohio to live with her boyfriend. You kind of get the idea of what happened there. And then my we stayed with my dad because he had like the full-time job. So usually like, and I feel like especially back in the day, the dads really never won custody cases, but my dad did. I don't know. I really don't even know like fully like all of the details, even though it's my parents, but because I really never cared. Um, but... So we'll do this yellow one. They got divorced and my mom moved to Ohio and was dating this guy. I actually really liked him. He was like really cool. Um, and then my dad stayed in Pennsylvania for a while, I think like three years. And I like every year I switched school. So I went to a private Catholic school and then I went to like public school, private Catholic school, pu public Catholic, public school. Um, it's all, like really all I remember. I lived at Punxsutawney, which is like where the groundhog's from, and that was pretty cool. And I think that's very interesting and like probably one of the cooler parts of my childhood. And then my dad met my stepmom. We moved to New Jersey. We lived in New Jersey for like two or three years, and she had two, well, has two sons. And then I have a brother who's like my full brother. And then my, and then we lived with my stepmom in New Jersey until seventh grade, and then I moved to Pennsylvania, which is where I met Nick. Um, I moved in the seventh grade. I met Nick in the ninth grade. But, um, yeah, I mean, I was kind of smart until the seventh grade, and then I went kind of downhill. And then I, like, excelled in, like, in my, like, fields then in... I do a to-do. But other than that, like, I don't know, school wasn't, like... I did really well senior year because I, like, applied myself really... Because I knew I needed to get my grades up for, like, college. And then, other than that, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. Nick was in, like, AP classes. He's a smart dude. Um, but, yeah, I met Nick in the ninth... No, yeah, ninth grade. I first saw him in seventh... I mean, the eighth grade. And that was love at first sight for me, at least. Um, but I remember the first day I saw him. And I was like, I need him in my life. I'm going to get him in my life. And then... Uh, so, like, high school was pretty basic. My parents, like, I don't have good relationships with either of my parents. I haven't talked to my dad in, like, I think six years, I think, when I left on very, very bad terms. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. You can't do anything about it, but... Um, and then my mom, I really don't talk to a lot because, you know, my mom never had, like, a really solid relationship just because I felt like I was the parent. And she knows this. Like, I've talked to her about it before, but I'm going to go ahead and put my meal little things. Actually, I'll go put it, ahead and put in all my little things because I just have meals and TVs. So, that's kind of, like, my parent's story. I'm not going to go into it much more than that just because it is, like, personal. And, like, I don't want to be, like, pointing fingers at people and, like, shaming anyone or anything like that. But just know... It, nothing's gonna change and I'm totally cool with it I have a really big philosophy that like you can choose your family like I know a lot of people are like well, your parents birth you and like you know this that and another thing but like I feel like there's people in my life that you know are we're family friends or our family friends or just like my friends family that I feel like are my family and I'm totally cool with that like I'm not mad at all and it's a shame but at the same time, it's life, and that's what happens sometimes, and you can't do anything about it. Oh, I have another package coming out that day. So, other than that, I have one half-brother that's my mom's, and then I have two half-sisters that's my mom's. I'm not really close in age with any of them. My sister is 10, and my other sister is 8, and then my other brother, my brother is 6. So... They're very, very young, so I don't have, like, a really good relationship with them just because, I don't know. I feel like if if you're in my situation currently, like, you have step or half siblings that are, like, 18, 10 to 18 years apart. Like, it's kind of hard. Um, but definitely, I feel like when they're older, it's going to be a little bit easier. And also just because I don't really have, a, like, solid relationship with my mom. But that's fine. Um, Nick's family is, like, super dope, and they're, like, 
the family that I wish I had my whole life. They're like the best, all of them. Especially like I love Nick's sister's family. She has eight kids and they're like my favorite people in the entire world. So, and Nick's mom, I always said, I said it in my one plan with me that she's like the grandma I never had. And I say grandma because Nick's like that, um, what do they call him? I know one of you guys said it in the video, but it's like the, the, the late in, not late in life baby, but like the later, like his, so it's kind of the same, like my mom has younger kids, like my brother is 18 years apart from me, 18, or maybe it's only, maybe it's 19 years apart, I don't know, whatever, but, so it's gonna be like a very similar story that like his, his girlfriend's gonna be like, yeah, your mom's as old as my grandma, but like Nick's parents are the dopest, like I love them so much, they're my favorites, okay. Any which ways, as far as like me, I don't know. I don't know really what to say. If you have anything specific, I mean, I went to school. I went to Votech for, how long is it so far? 16 minutes, okay. Um, I went to Votech for most of high school and so did Nick. And they kind of had like a rocky relationship in high school just because it was high school and that's hard, I think. But I think that like overall it made us like who we are today. So we can't really complain about it too much. Like I don't really like look back at it and like regret anything. I mean, I regret little things that I've said or did, but I don't like regret any of the major happenings just because then I wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't be where we are today, I don't think. Um, I did move in with Nick's parents whenever I was 18 and then we only moved out like two years ago. So I lived with them for a really long time. So I got very, very close with them. Nick's has um, two sisters and a brother and they're all very cool. Nick's brother's actually coming to visit us for the first time, which I'm really pumped about with his, I would say, I'm gonna call her fiance. And then his daughter, which Eliza's so cute. She's like a little redhead and adorable. I'm very excited for that. That's at the middle of August. Um, but me, I don't know. I just don't know what to say about me. I worked like a lot of different jobs. I've always been working. I feel, I've been working since I was 14, so not always, but I mean, as soon as it was like legal for me to work for somebody that wasn't a family member, I was like ready to go. So I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have any specific questions about my life, uh, leave them down below. But again, like as far as like family goes, that's kind of all I'm going to say. Just because I don't want to be like pointing fingers or like making anything. Just, you know what I mean. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So let's go ahead and get into the plans. I did want to say one thing about like my parent situation has taught me a couple of things. And I feel like the way that I was raised, I was raised in a very strict household. And I feel like that makes me like a better person. I just walked up and down the stairs. I feel like like pregnancy, whenever you walk somewhere, I'm done, especially stairs. So it's made me like a better person because of how strict my parents were and how many rules I had. So like, I don't really blame them for that. I feel like as a teenager, I was very like angsty about it, but like I'm better off that way. And then also my parents did teach me and well, my dad and my stepmom, my mom, whatever. But um, that pretty much when I was 14 and I could get a job, I did have a job because I paid for everything myself. Like I paid for if I wanted new clothes, if I wanted to go uh, get food from out, if I wanted to, I don't know, um, car insurance, car payments, like everything. Like if I wanted to go on a trip, if I wanted like not a trip, like a school trip, I haven't really, I didn't really go on any trips, but anything I paid for and like school and everything I paid for. So I feel like it gave me a very like big drive to work. And that's why I like working so much is because that's like what I know how to do. So that's the pros. That's the pros guys. Also like I, I want to get my nails done again, but I feel like the gel's thick and I'm going to try and get it done with just nail polish and see how long it lasts. So I'll keep you updated. So again, this week is super duper boring. So on Monday, all I have in is HelloFresh. What needs to do? Should I even have on? I'm like out of breath so bad. I should have took like a minute before I came back. <sighs> Hello Fresh and the Bachelorette is on. Did y'all hear about the scandal with Bachelor in Paradise? Insanity. So there is that, and then I have to draft two dollar Tuesdays and also payroll this day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little money icon up on the top for doing payroll. 
And then also this day, which I don't have a lot going on, I do not also need to send a check to um, a venue. I am not doing a, bra a bridal shower. I'm not doing a baby shower. I'm going to do a sip and see because it doesn't really make sense for me to have a baby shower either here or in Pennsylvania because if I had it here, I would force everyone to travel. And if I had it there, it just seems like it'd be a lot to do like tra me traveling. Um, so I thought like a sip and see was a better idea. I didn't even know it existed until I was like Googling, but I'm pretty much going to do that in December when I was planning on going home anyways to like introduce the baby to all the family. So... I need to send a check because I did book a venue, which I'm really excited about because I, I would need to book it just because it's around Christmas time. So I'm really excited about that. And if you guys have ever been to a sip and see or heard of one or been invited to one, let me know. I love this because like a lot of the pattern boxes are like really simple and I, that's probably why I like this kit so much. But I, uh, since nothing else is going on that day, I am going to go ahead and put in just one of these full boxes. I think I'll do... The little gym bag like I said I ain't going to the gym anytime soon I have like a really cool workout class that I want to do like when the baby's born but there's a little bit of time oh no 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 I could put in one of the girls because they take up more space why didn't you guys tell me that because there's like nothing going on this day. actually there's like nothing going on all week which is kind of pathetic but I have had a busy couple of weeks and not a lot going on next week either, guys. I have two things on my schedule besides work, but I don't put that in early. So, just grab this girl. What else do I want to put in here? Probably design this day. So, maybe for that, I'll do a little quarter box. I'm actually going to flip this. I'm actually thinking about in my new planner, like, filling out everything that I know like at the end of the spread, but let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in or not. And I think I'm going to, because I don't usually color block the middle. Sorry, I'm getting a text message. Um, color block the middle just because it's, I feel like it's too hard. Because then like the stickers become limited. You have like a fourth of the options. That just ain't my thing. Well, what did I say I was putting in here? Oh, designing. So I'm going to grab, oh, darn. How many of these am I going to lift up, guys? Oh, uh, well, no. We'll leave it down because I'll use a gray one. I was going to use the yellow. No, I want to use the yellow ones because one else am I going to be able to use the yellow laptops? Because I don't do that many kits with yellow in them. So now is the perfect opportunity. And I don't want to put like a yellow sticker on a yellow sticker because that won't be cute. I mean, it could be cute, but I don't think it'll be that cute. So let's do the gray. I have a lot of stuff to get done as far as designing goes. I think Kirsten just finished printing August Mystery, which is kind of wild. And then on Tuesday, it's $2 Tuesday, which I now have that on the front, which I'm super pumped about. So $2 Tuesday. Sweet. And then also this day I am working. Like I said, I have a lot of space, so I am going to use these guys in here I might do so what I might do here is I'll do this pink shoe thing down here it's a little cute but this kind of takes up a little space which is nice whenever you don't have anything going on like this week do I need like a whole no I could probably do the middle one I think starting also next month so after the mystery kit i think all like the two dollar tuesday already matches but if you plan like me the new release one will match that day too i'm pretty sure don't fully quote me on it but i think that looks pretty cute right it looks a little weird because the yellow is like perfectly matched so it looks like the o goes up really high but We'll see on the next one. And then on Wednesday, again, not a lot going on. Um, I'm going to use, do I want to use more? I don't know if I want to use more girls. I'm going to do one of these boxes here. This is another day that I'm probably going to spend designing. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of room on top for a quarter box. And for this one, I'm going to use the blue. I'm going to put a little bit of washi on top. 
this, this actually might turn out really cute. Like, very simple plans, but and it'll also probably be a very, very quick video. And then I'll show you guys that haul at the end. I only have two things, but they're cute. And I'm also getting my nails done this day. And since I don't have anything else really going on, I'm going to use a half box with a little piece of washi at the bottom. I'm just going to probably... I'll use the pink because I think that's cute. I'm going to put the half box down here. I'm actually getting a manicure and a pedicure, which I hate people touching my feet, but we're going to see how it goes. It might never happen again, but we'll see. And I'm going to use the yellow nail polish bottle because, again, like how often am I going to be able to use these yellow stickers? And the yellow matches pretty darn perfectly, but like, look how cute that looks. I'm like pretty happy with this, even though there's no plans. I mean, I guess it does just doesn't look like in your face, but I think it looks pretty cute. Okay, so on Thursday, my home chef comes. I'm going to be working, so I'm going to grab the other yellow work label because I have two sheets of these at home, so it works out perfectly. I love summer multicolor. These colors are like, like how perfect is that? I don't even know. Didn't even plan it. So let's grab that work header. Um, otherwise, I have to draft new releases, which would go up top. And then I have a class, so that's cool. Very cool. So I'm gonna do a full box in the middle. I think I'm gonna use the, like a basic pattern one. Or do I wanna use another girl? No, I'm gonna use one of these pattern ones. And I'm gonna put this in the middle, like so. Yeah. And then I'm going to do a little bit of washi on the top. I'm going to use some of this yellow just because we're in the yellow area. No, I don't want to. Yeah, we'll do that on the bottom. And then I'll do, do I want to do the work header here or up here? I'm going to do it up top, I think. Now this, I guess, takes up more space, so let's do it in here. That looks cool. And then I'm going to do for the class, I guess I'll do a half box because, again, I don't have a lot going on this week. And I'm going to do the bl pink blue pattern. I'm going to do the blue. And I'll do the, I guess I'll do the yellow again, washi up here. And then for the class, I didn't have anything. It's a pasta making class. I'm going with Amanda. So... I've been really enjoying these classes, guys. I'm learning all the things I did last week. What did I do? Well, this week I did, um, well, I did painting and then mini donuts. That's it. That's, but the mini donuts was very informative, so I was very happy about that. So this one is a pasta. I think we're making like like homemade, handmade or homemade. I don't know pasta, and then also um, ravioli, I believe. And then also this day is Cleaner's Day, which is my favorite day ever. And we're going to put that little guy up there. And then Friday is Payday, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in the little money stack up top. And Or I could have put the little Payday sticker because I forgot I changed that, but that's okay. Also, I was going to see if I wanted to go to the movies this weekend because we're not doing anything else, but I'll think about that. Um, and then Nick and I are going to have a date night on this day. I think I am going to use a tall girl for this day because... Other than that, I don't know. Like, I do things, but I don't usually know until that day. We usually make some kind of plans. So, wait, did I use the other girl? That's, yeah. I'm going to use this girl then. Uh, so, date night. I could probably put in... Let's actually just do this. have a half box let's do the pink and then I'm gonna grab a big piece of washi I'm just gonna grab the top one over here stick this in and then for date night I am going to use the custom couple stickers from Fox and Cactus which are so cute I'm just gonna stick that on there and then let me think about the weekend. So I just checked and I think Baby Driver comes out on the 28th next week. And they're doing at Alamo the 25th. I don't know all Alamos, not sure. But they're doing a screening of it. So I don't know if it's advanced, but I asked if he wanted to go. Tickets are available, so I'm sure he's gonna wanna go because he really wants to see that. And what's his name? Is his name like, it starts with an A, but he's real cute, so I'll go see it. Um, it looks like one of the better like car racing movies because normally I'm not in those. 
But I mean, I watch all the Fast and Furious movies, so I don't know. So, yeah, he said, sure. Should I buy? Yes. Because Fandango doesn't like me. I'm trying to buy tickets on there. It's like, no, but Nick has no problem. So on Saturday, I got nothing. Again, we'll probably have something planned. I feel like usually on the weekends we start to plan things, but he's been gone, so. <sighs> so I think for that, I'm going to use 25 weeks. I'll use the little yellow, little yellow fang. And then I'm going to just use a plain box. Let's do Let's do the pink one because I guess it matches. Put this one kind of in the middle because then I'll just put something on the bottom. Put a plan next week because, yeah, we'll do that. No, I'll do it the next day. I might go to work actually one of the, like some other day, just depending on how many orders. I should be able to get like most of them out in the, I'm working also the Sunday and Saturday here and then I'm working. Um, so I really think that I'll be able to get out like most, most open orders, if not all of them. Cause I've been getting fast and I like get into it and I'm like rolling and ready to rock. So we will see if I decide to go into work for another day. I might, cause usually when I'm bored, I'm like, let's go, let's go. We got nothing to do. And then I think I'm going to just put a little, an appointment label on the bottom. And then if something comes up, I have a little spot to put it. And then on Sunday, like I said, I'm going to put in the plan next week little box up here. I'm going to put in a full box. So I'll do, I'll do the pattern one because I know the pattern, but like the sports bra and little Fitbit. And then I'm going to do the movie marquee for Baby Driver. He just bought tickets. Cool, cool, cool. I'm trying to get in a lot of movies because I mean, other than Alamo's really cool and does like a baby day. I don't know how, like, that's going to roll with a newborn, so we'll see. But I think it's cool that they offer that because I wish more theaters did. So, like, how it works is I think Tuesday matinees, or, like, Tuesday during the day, I think before 4, and then select Saturdays at certain. And uh, these are only, I think, two theaters in Austin. I think there's five Alamos in Austin, or there's going to be six. I don't know. But you, um, whenever you buy a ticket, like, you know it's baby day and then also if you go and you don't realize it's baby day they refund you just in case like you're not cool with it but like I've been in louder theaters with like adults compared to newborns like I've been to baby day and it's really not that bad because like the moms usually just get up and like rock the baby in the aisle but like that doesn't bother me but I've had some loud adults near me so I don't mind baby day and I don't think it'd be that bad to go okay oh I didn't put it in the new releases sticker I could put that right in the middle oh I could have put that in the bottom that's fine I'll just leave it. I can't even put it. No, we'll just put it in the middle. It's fine by me. Actually, let's do this. And then put the little, because this is, I don't drink coffee, but that's me during new release days. Sitting on my computer. Today was new release day, and I was actually at the hair salon. So I was trying to, like, watch new releases and get my hair done. And it was quite, quite the, quite the time. It actually worked out because I was under the hair dryer thingy and I had to put them up. Not too bad. Okay, so I think that's everything. Again, very boring week. Super sorry. Oh, weekend banner. Could have probably incorporated that up into the top, but that's okay. There's so much stuff in these kits. Okay. I'll have to go grocery shopping sometime too, but again, I don't know. That'll probably be like Wednesday. What did I say I was putting in? Something. Oh, design day. I'm gonna put like, the little laptop in there. So I'm gonna do the little yellow laptop. I'll probably go to the grocery store either like Wednesday or Friday. I got plenty of time here. But that'll probably be like whatever day I feel like it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some deco. Actually, I'll leave this open to put in the deco. Let me zoom out. I feel like there hasn't been like a lot of movies i'm gonna actually open just so i don't put anything in there there hasn't been a lot of movies that i've been super like i need to see them i don't know like when the good time is to put out movies i feel like nick and i had this discussion recently and he thought it was like i don't remember in june but i thought for some reason that it used to be mem not memorial day labor day was like the day to put out movies like labor day weekend or what's the first memorial day i'm like really the worst Memorial Day. I thought Memorial Day 
was like the time that I'll put that in anyways to put out movies but I'm not sure and then I looked it up and there's just different times for different movies like based on genre so I have no clue but I love going to the movies there just hasn't been anything like that I've seen that I've been like oh my goodness I need to see that right now I feel like there's more movies that like Nick wants to see which is cool but like I'm just I don't know I'm not into like what's coming out recently these flowers are so cute I love the colors in this kit I love the silver glitter in the kit I am very very much so obsessed with this kit and I'm gonna put a couple of these little dots oh these little dangles are super cute this makes me want to work out which like I said I have a plan for after the baby comes I'm actually thinking that, I mean, I don't really know, but I think I'll probably, I don't know. I'm like thinking I might end up weighing less than what I started, but I don't know. Because I, I haven't, I haven't reached my like beginning weight. I've only lost, I lost a bunch of weight in the beginning of the pregnancy. And then I've been gaining weight, but like really slowly. The last time I went in, every four weeks I have an appointment, I haven't gained any weight since the um, four weeks ago, but I did gain weight that previous appointment, but it was only like a pound and a half. I don't know. So we will see. My rings actually don't like, they're, well right now I'm like hot, but like they're pretty like loose. Like they used to have like some like struggle coming off, but not anymore. They just slip off. So I don't know, we're gonna see, but I don't know if like maybe your your fingers, like before they swell up, they get smaller, maybe? That's, that could be a possibility of something. I've never been pregnant before, so I don't really know. All I know is he likes to kick me all day and all night long. I swear he doesn't sleep because he's always kicking unless it's like a night kicker. But that is everything. I hope you guys like the spread. I really like the way it turned out, even though this was a really boring week. I think it's really cute and I'm going to go ahead and film my rewind spread which will be packed full of a lot more things than there are on here so that will be out in a couple of days so I hope you guys like well actually be out tomorrow probably but I hope you guys like this spread and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye so I lied it's not bye time yet so I'm going to show you guys what I picked up I only picked up two things I forgot I was doing this and I looked over and I was like Andrea you're not done yet so I picked up two things. Let me know if you guys want to see these in like rewinds or here or what. I mean, I think rewinds make more sense just because they're shorter. But I wanted to do, I think I mentioned I want to do like baby journaling. And I was going to do it in my Erin Condren uh, horizontal little bit like, of hardbound thing. And I think I'm probably just going to give that away because I think I like this idea better. And then I bought this, which is a Filofax. I don't know what this is called. The Domino Soft. They're new. They're super cute. I have my rewind spread one is like a taupe, which I love this color. It also comes in a baby pink and a mint, which I'll leave the link down below. And I have all the Coffee Monster Co stickers that I bought specifically to journal. And I wanted to do it in my Erin Condren hardbound, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling that. So I did order the So Much Crafting week on two page personal with the lines. And I thought this would be really nice to do journaling in and then I can also print out pictures easily because they're the same size as the Erin Condren. So like let's say I want to do um like I have something a couple days and then the other days are blank. I could print out pictures from that week and then put them in the days that I don't have anything filled in. And I was also thinking um that if I wanted to do like maybe like a story or like write like a prompt like I know there's a lot of like mom prompts out there I could take a piece of like regular so much crafting like paper and put it in the middle or at the end of the month I could have like stories or like uh prompts uh, like questions I can answer about different things for the baby in there and then I can store them in here so it kind of can add things I can subtract things so I decide that I want to use a different type of layout I can change it up and it's not like I'm committing so I really like this idea and I think it'll be really nice for him whenever he gets older not that I expect him to read everything I write but just like to have the option if he would like to and so I ordered that so I'll link so much crafting down below y'all know my favorite inserts and then I also have the glam planner June mystery box and um so if you don't want to see the mystery close on to this video but it did come with I think two extras normally they are like both how do you, do you say it is it kawaii or kawaii I don't know um 
but usually they come with two of those extras and she decided to do like a, a quarter sheet instead which personally for me has more value than these items because usually I just give them away anyways because like, I don't know what I would do with this I mean I have so many of these like little pouch things but it's cute and it would be good for like travel for sure or like you could put your stickers in it because like they would fit pretty good in there so I'm going to definitely throw this in the giveaway pile though um, and then this is the kit. I also have the teeny subscription, which is super cute. I was super bummed about this kit. I, whenever she showed me it, like, I think it was a couple weeks ago she showed me. I was like, I just went to Vegas. And I'm not going to go to Vegas for a really long time. But I know Jessica and Kirsten are, so I'm sure they will love this kit. I sent them, like, the like the sneak peek that Elle showed me. And I was like, girls, y'all going to die because this is perfect for you. And then also it has, like, the double box, and they're going for the weekend. And it has a girl with brown hair and blonde hair. And it's like Justin and Kirsten because, like, that's it. So I'm like, I'm not going to Vegas anytime soon. Like, do I save this? What do I do? So instead of the extra, she did throw in the date dots and then the, what are these things called? Date covers. So I think that that is really cool. And, again, more valuable to me than the extra. And then the kit is, you have your six full boxes and then you have a taller box a plan next week sticker and then this is obviously like vegas themed whenever Elle and i went to vegas the britney slots was where we were at pretty much 95 percent of the time because you always got games and they were really loud and they just played britney music over and over again so we were very into those and then you have your heart checklist and then you have your cute double box i really like this like sign it's super cute and yeah and then you have this, which has a bunch of deco on the side. You have your Britney machine, which I think is so cool. Um, and then you have your weekend banner. You have flags, movie marquee payday, appointment labels, flight tracker, bill due, buy these, clean these. Ooh. And then this is new. This has icons, tons of icons. You have heart checklists. You have weekly um, checklists. You have quarter boxes, which I'm so glad she added those. No pre-scheduled credit card bed planner which I mean a package and a planner which I think she made these smaller which are nice and then you have your headers your assorted headers and your little things and then you have pattern washi um pattern washi and then you also have I would say solid washi I'm so used to like saying my kit names um the bottom washi so this is super cute again I'm like so sad I'm not going to Vegas my camera cut me off and I was like how rude but I am so sad, like I said, that I'm not going to Vegas anytime soon, but maybe in a couple of years, maybe in a couple of years, which I really like Vegas. I've been to Vegas like in the past couple of years, a bunch of times, just because it's, it's a pretty inexpensive short flight and hotels are usually pretty cheap and you can do like cool stuff and there's tons of really good places to eat, which is what matters to me. But I also don't drink. So that means a lot. If Vegas is a cool place for me and I don't drink and I feel like that's like one big part of Vegas is drinking. I really like Vegas. If you haven't been there, I'd put it on your list. Um, and then teenies. Okay, so then she does do like the teeny subscription, which it's so cute. I told her, I was like, we need double teeny subscription because I need these. And she was like, I'll just send you extra if you want them. And I was like, I know, but like I want to order them so that it's just like I just have them every month because I'm like, what if I use up all of these and then I have like FOMO? Like this is how I felt about stickers when I was little. I was like, oh, I love my stickers, but I'm never gonna put them on anything because like, but then I can't like have them back. There was no undo back then. But you have the really cute, again, the Britney. Well, I mean, I would say it is the Britney slot because it looks pretty close to it, but it could have been any slot because a lot of them look like that. And it's them playing the slots and they have like a big stack of money next to them. You also have the bride and groom, which is so, so, so cute. Good for marking like weddings and stuff or anniversaries or anything. And then you also have the uh, boy and girl teeny like hugging, embracing, being so lovey-dovey. So super cute. Definitely a very, very lovey and then... This goes along with the kit. So I think that's so cute. So again, that was the mystery kit and I'll leave her mystery kit, her mystery site down below. And she opens up spots, I believe every month. So you guys can check out her Instagram to get on that. But now for real, it's time to go. So let me know if you guys, there's dog hair. 
Let me know if you guys want to see the hauls in the plan of me's, which there might not be hauls every week because I don't buy things every single week. I don't buy as much as far as stickers go anymore just because I had too much going on. Um, or if you want to see them in the rewind spread, also let me know questions down below and thumbs up your favorite ones for me to answer in next week's plan with me, which is in the new Erin Condren vertical. Super excited. Talk to you guys later.